Hi friends, I am back with a Fashion Nova haul and this one's kind of out of my usual comfort zone. Like I'm pretty basic and I do a lot of ready to wear. So this one is filled with color and kind of like costumey kind of pieces, but I'm really excited to show you what I got. We will start with a swimsuit. This one is really, really cute. I love flamingos. They are my summer aesthetic. Um, they're actually my all the time aesthetic. So when I see something with a flamingo, I try and scoop it up. So I got this bikini. The bottom has a big flamingo front and center on your crotch. Who doesn't love that? But I love like hibiscus flowers. This is just so tropical. I'm going away um, camping. So nothing tropical, but I'm going camping in a few weeks. So this is going immediately in my bag. Really cute. And it has little lattice cutouts on the side. It's gonna look really cute. I am gonna get a wicked sunburn from this, but I think it's a really cute design. And I really like the coverage of it. It's not like one of those super high-waisted plus-size bikinis. Like, you'll definitely see my belly button in this, and I actually don't mind. Um, I got this in a 2X. I think it fits great. And then I got the matching top. So again, a cute, easy, a lot more full coverage than the other Fashion Nova bikinis I have. Um, and I kind of like that, you know, Sometimes you want to stunt and sometimes you just want to like float and not worry about your boob popping out. So this is one of the latter. Um, really cute again with the florals and everything. And the back, it has the crisscross and double strap. So it's a really cute design. Um, I could have sized down in the top. I did find it um, a little loose. I would like to be held in a little bit more. There is elastic at the bottom, but I feel like if this elastic was a little tighter, I would feel a little bit more secure. Um, and I did feel like the straps were kind of a little just too big so i would have sized down on the top but i feel like the 2x on the bottom fit me just fine so all in all for the price i paid i think this is fine and i'm gonna be floating in an inner tube for a week so it's not like i'm like jumping off cliffs or water skiing this is totally fine for what i'm doing plus i can mix and match and i can wear these bottoms with like a plain top so i think i'm covered but this is really really cute We'll break out a bodysuit. Like I said, I'm pretty basic. Like I wear stuff like this on the reg. Um, but these really caught my eye and I was like, you know what? These will be fun to have. And if you're a person who goes to like music festivals, this is like right up your alley. I don't really go to festivals. Me and my sister were talking. We would love a festival of boy bands like One Direction, Jonas Brothers, Bring Back Dream Street for a night. My head would explode. That's a festival I would go to and pay $500 for a weekend. I'd be all about that. So this one is more festival EDM, is that a thing? I'm so old and out of it. Um, electric dance music, one of those. This is right up your alley if you like that. So this is a tie-dye hot pink bodysuit. I just think this is so cute. It is all mesh, so it is pretty stretchy. Long sleeve, but like I said, it's mesh, so it's breathable. I wore a black bra underneath this, but if you have a fun cagey bra, I think that'll look really cute. Um, I have toyed with the idea with these see-through bodysuits I keep getting, I'm like, oh, if I wear like a plain nude bodysuit under it, but then I'm like, then you're wearing two bodysuits, the amount of fabric in your butthole is just like unfathomable to me. Um, it's got to be really uncomfortable, but I was like, I toyed with the idea of wearing two bodysuits at once, but this does have the thong back, so there is no butt cover, just gonna go straight up your butt. So some people like that because you get no panty lines and stuff. So just be prepared when you are purchasing that it is a thong back. I'm like toying with the idea in the try-ons of showing you the back. I feel like I'd get a lot more views if my butt was in the thumbnail, but like I said, I'm also old. Do I really wanna be showing my butt on the internet for free? Um, I don't know, so. I haven't edited this yet. We'll see if I do a full turnaround, but I don't know. I feel like maybe even just putting my butt in the thumbnail and not doing the turnaround in the video, maybe that'll help me get the per views. All right, and then another bodysuit. This one I really love. So this one is a black tank top. It has cutouts. It's so cute. So the middle has the mesh cutouts, and then there's a top layer here that has this mesh cutout. I just think this is so cute. It has adjustable straps. Again, the thong butt. Will we see my butt? I don't know. But, you know, be prepared for that fabric entry on your butt. Um, but this is just so cute. Again, I paired it with the denim skirt and it just looks so good. I have a lot of bodysuits, but I didn't have like a tank top one. So this is going to be my go-to from now on. And I just love cutouts and I just think it's so cute. 
kind of dying. So those past two bodysuits were in a 2X. Next, this one is so cool and I this is what made like I was like, oh, this is just gonna be like a costumey kind of haul. So this is a sequined see-through shirt and it's kind of oversized. In the try-on, I was just too hot to put on pants, so I just had a cami on and then put this on over it. And it's just a really long shirt. I know a lot of girls I went to college with would have passed this off as a dress, but you know, whatever floats your boat. I'm gonna wear it as like a shirt, maybe with some bike shorts, um, or even just like a slip dress. I think it'll look really cute. Again, where am I going? The Jonas Brothers tour in August, but I think this will look really cute. Um, I love how this looks when I see other people do a look like this. So it has the really cute, there's a name for this kind of sequin. I'm gonna call it mermaid, but I know there's a name for it. So light sequins, see-through shirt. Again, pop something really cool on underneath or just do like a plain black thing. But I just think this is a really cute piece to add on and really jazz up an outfit. So I got this in a 1X, they are oversized and I feel like the 1X fit me fine. I feel like if I went for a 2X, it would be like comically large. So the 1X as an oversized look fits just fine. This next one is actually my favorite out of the bunch. So it's a pastel tie-dye crop top, but it does have very oversized arms. But once you place it correctly on your arms, they'll kind of scrunch up and just look loose and really comfy. So I really like that look. Um, also, it's kind of long enough where it doesn't have to like really look like a crop top. Really, really comfy. I'll be wearing this camping and probably all throughout the summer. This will make a great cover up. So it says, make sure you're happy in real life and not just on Instagram because I feel like a lot of people on Instagram are doing like that fake it till you make it. And I want you to know my life is just as mediocre as my Instagram makes it look. Like I'm pretty boring, but I feel like we all have those people who, you know, are like making their life look really great on Instagram, but they're not as happy in person. I feel like I might even do a whole video about this I know there's people lying about their lives. So, you know, just a little subtle shade at people on Instagram, um, but a really comfy top too. So I really like this. And I think this is an A2 or one. Oh, there's no size on it. Honestly, it's so big and oversized. Like I usually wear a 1X in real life. I always get a 2X at Fashion Nova. I would order the 1X because it is so oversized. That's really weird that there's no size on it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is a 1X. Okay. Yeah. You'll be fine sizing down. They are very big and slouchy, but so cute and so comfy. Okay. I am on the bike shorts train. I really like how they look. And even if you're just wearing them as like chubra protection, like I love going on Instagram and seeing people wearing bike shorts, the matching kind of sports bra and like a big jacket. I love that look. I don't really leave my house looking like that, but like I love it when other people do. Um, I usually wear bike shorts around the house or as chubra protection. And being from New Jersey, leopard print is a basic to me. So I got leopard print bike shorts and the matching bra. So one day if I'm ever feeling really cool, maybe I'll wear this and like a cool jacket. One day. Should I do one of those things where I dress like an Instagram baddie for a week? Would anyone watch that? I don't know. Um, but these are buttery ass soft. So you know when LuLaRoe came out and everyone's like, they're like butter. These are literally like butter. I love how these feel. I got these in a one, let's see, one X. I love how it's a guessing game. I got these in a one X, fit me fine, very stretchy, and they come to a really good place on my thighs where they're not gonna roll up, they're not gonna run together. So I got that and it is a set. So I also got the matching cheetah top. Really cute. Sorry, because I'm in the living room. There, yeah, there's someone in my house. Sorry, I'm filming in my living room and my house is like the opening scene of Home Alone where there's just like a thousand people at your house for no reason. So someone was just walking by taking their sweet ass time. But I did get the matching top. I wore this with a real bra underneath and I really liked the way it looked. So I would wear this as a top. Um, it's not really supportive, so it's not gonna be a like sports bra kind of look. And I would have worn a real bra with it anyways, but to put together, looks really cute. I'll probably wear this as like a sleep shirt because it is pretty loose and comfy and it's still covering everything. But together, they're gonna look really cute. So maybe one day. I'll be cool. All right, finally, this is very similar to what I'm wearing, a really cute floral wrap dress. And you're gonna see in the try on part, I could not figure it out for the life of me, even though all traditional wrap style dresses have the thing that goes inside 
peeks back out, then goes around, and then the skirt part ties to it. So it's like crafted and constructed the way a wrap dress should be, but I was just like, where am I? Like, I could not figure it out. I did finally get it, and it looked really, really cute. This one is a little short on me. I got it in a 2X, so you're gonna see, I'm like, ooh, I'm trying to do one of those. Um, so I'll wear it, but like, I wouldn't wear this to work, you know? But this is a cute summer dress, you know, wear it to the boardwalk, wear it to a party. I don't dig cap sleeves. This isn't like a true cap sleeve. It is like more of a flutter cap, but I just don't like how that looks on my arms. But all together, it looks really cute. And there's something just so classic about a wrap dress in the summer. Okay, that's everything. So a lot more colorful. Was there anything? Okay, the only black thing in there was that bodysuit. I'm getting better at buying more colorful things, but I'm very happy with like the fun pieces I got. I just need to do more fun things with my life now. So all those items will be linked down below. All my sizes will be linked down below. All my measurements, all that jazz. So I think that's it. You're right there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Please like and subscribe and click my ads so I can have enough money to move out. <laughs> Bye guys.